This here, when, when Lucille and Emmett were the boss. Yeah. Before Jim. Before Jim. So 1955 when we opened, you've been coming here that long. Right. I had a, a regular spot, 512 under the tree yeah. for years. And then now, my boy still does some antennas. But uh, the, the, are you Mr. Shetler? I'm working this fall. I'll be 98. 98 years old and still reporting for duty. I love it. World War II veteran, right? Right. Was in, was in the Depression. Was in World War II. I've seen all the phrases, the hippie style, all the, all the young ones. Yeah. I had if you do good work and don't cheat the people, you can never retire. <laughs> as long as you can walk, you. That's so right. One, one those, one, let me tell you something. We're working for the public. When you would do your own, you can, you know, band aid a job. You can't do that. You're working for the public. So I go up once in a while and see what he was checking on him. Yeah. Uh, checking on him. So you keeping know. the quality. I like that. That's a great quote. You can't band-aid so, the public. So if when my day comes, he'll probably still do antennas. Wonderful. Well, we are so glad you joined us. I was thrilled to see you. I know you have a long history with us. Do you have any advice for new vendors just starting out? We get new vendors every year. What would you tell them as a vendor since 1955? Well, I, I tell you, it's, the flea markets are not what they used to be because the price has changed. Mm -hmm. You've got to have extra money for insurance, and I realize that. But the new vendors sell quality merchandise. 